Hi there, YouTube friends. Welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen. Get your bacon ready as today we're gonna to be making a delicious fruity and spicy sauce from the UK called HP sauce. This classic brown sauce from back home is one of my favorites and it's popular to have with a sausage or a bacon sandwich. Recently, I was asked to bring some sauces to a party. So naturally I took this classic HP sauce and everyone absolutely loved its flavor. So I wanted to share the recipe with you. And I might even go as far to say, I think it tastes even better than the real thing. So start by roughly cutting up a small onion and then place this straight into the pan that you're going to cook your sauce in. For the apples, I recommend using Granny Smith apples as they have a wonderful tart and sweet flavor that you can really taste in the sauce once cooked. I personally like to peel my apples, but it also works well if you choose to leave the peels on, just make sure you wash them thoroughly first. Once your apples are peeled, remove the core, then just cut them up roughly the same as you did with the onions and add them to the same pan. Next, you're going to want to cut up some prunes, which are not only going to bring a wonderful flavor, but also darken the color of your brown sauce. I have been asked if you can use dates instead, and these will work, but they'll change the flavor and color slightly. So for the best results, I recommend that you use prunes. The last few ingredients to add to your brown sauce is some brown sugar and then a few spices, a generous pinch of salt, some allspice, ginger, cayenne for a little bit of heat and nutmeg. And for all of those who are new here, a list of ingredients and measurements can be found in the description under each of my videos. And I ask if you like today's video, please hit the like button, not only to give me a smile, but it also really helps to support the channel. The final ingredient to add is your malt vinegar. And if you've never had this before, it has a unique taste. It's made from barley and it's not only popular to put on fish and chips and use when pickling or making chutneys. It's just great to use because it really enhances the flavors. Then you're gonna give everything a good stir and place your pan onto the stove on a low heat and allow it to come to a boil. Interestingly enough, HB sauce is rumored to have got its name given to it after being used in a restaurant in the Houses of Parliament in the 20th century. It was not only said to be popular among the MPs, but it was known as Wilson's Gravy, as the Prime Minister liked to put it on absolutely everything. And if you look at a bottle today, you'll see a picture of Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament on the front. As you can see in the video, as soon as your pan comes to a boil, place the lid on and then allow it to keep cooking, stirring occasionally for about 30 minutes. Then as soon as your fruit becomes soft, you're going to take it off the heat. Next, with a hand blender, you're going to blend up your sauce until it becomes smooth. And while I blend up my HP sauce, let me ask you a quick question. Are you team ketchup or team brown sauce on a bacon sandwich? Drop me a comment below and also let me know what other foods you like to serve your HP brown sauce with. Once you've blended your sauce, you could leave it as it is or take it one step further, put your sauce through a sieve. And I personally think this next step really does make all the difference and it will give you a really silky smooth sauce at the end. At this stage, have another taste and check the consistency is where you want it. And if it's still too runny, you could put it back onto the stove to thicken up for five to 10 minutes or place it straight into your sterilized bottle or jar. Just be aware that it will thicken up slightly as it cools. So here we have a simple recipe for a UK classic brown sauce, HP sauce. Once bottled, let it cool down completely before using it and then make yourself a bacon sandwich. I like to heat up a bread roll, butter it, put on a generous layer of HP sauce before then covering it with some bacon. While I enjoy my bacon sandwich with HP sauce and think of home, may I say thanks for watching and for more simple and delicious recipes, please consider subscribing and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.